Good evening, dear ladies. We have the school to meet each other day after day, Baruch Hashem Ben Porat Yosef. And today we're going to speak about Purim. I'm reminding you that Monday we're going to have a Sibat Purim in the Georgian Shul. We are all invited, 7 o'clock. We're looking forward to see all of you. May Hashem bless you all. Vesiyat Adishmeres first bless that we all have the schut to read Mashiach Tzitkan Bachamim Boim Bim Rabbi Amen Amen Eliyahu Navi Eliyahu Tishbelav Geladi Bim Rabbi Amshach David Eliyahu Navi Zakhpul Atom and we all have the schut to go to see the building of the third temple Beit HaMikdash HaShishi Bim Rabbi Amen Amen Ki Ayin Vayin Eru Bishuvad Nei Tzion Ata Tekum Tarachem Tzion Ki Et Lecha Nena Kiva Moed Hashiveno Adonai Lecha Venashu Bachadesh Amenu Kekedem and we all have the schut to go to Eretz Yisrael on the wings of eagle and may we all have part in Eretz Yisrael Bezrat Hashem, in the merit of the Shur, in the truth of the Shur, Bezrat Hashem, Hashem bring peace upon us, Klal Yisrael, and the whole world, Bezrat Hashem. And when we all be Zoche, that we all have the truth, the merit, to do Tshuva, us, Klal Yisrael, and all of the nations. And we will all know Hashem, Bezrat Hashem, in the truth of the Shur, and in the truth of of uh, Purim that is coming soon, and the month of Adar, Mishanichnas Adar Marbin Besimcha, that way. The month of Adar is in. Bezrat Hashem, we should be more rejoiceful. And tonight is the seventh of Adar Bet, so it's the Yor site of Moshe Rabbeinu, the, the birth of Moshe Rabbeinu, and the Yor site of Moshe Rabbeinu. And we know all that the poor, that the lottery fell on, on Adar Bet, on the seventh of Adar Bet. So, Besiyat Adishma, may the Schut of Moshe Rabbeinu protect us, Klal Israel, and the whole world. Bezrat Hashem. And I heard that Aisha, Aliza, Bat Miriam, Alea Shalom, she passed away today, so it will be Lilu Nishmata, Alea Shalom, Tishim Tatsar Tzor Chaim, Zchutat Agen Alenu, she was a tzadeket, and Besiyat Adishma, may Hashem bring a fuah shlema to Klal Yisrael, and everybody that needs from Aleph to Taf, Bezat Hashem, mentally and physically. Dear ladies, we are now in Purim, and we'll go first of all, Bezat Hashem, well, Purim, the Chida says Purim is the combination of all of the Chagim. So the Chida says that Purim, the pay of Purim is for Pesach. Because on Pesach we went out from exile and Purim, we go out of death to life. Because there was a decree to kill all the Jewish people in 127 states. And then the Vav of Purim is Sukkot Besiyat Adishma. That we had the Sukkot on Purim Bezat Hashem, that Hashem protected us. And in Sukkot we have Besiyat Adishma, the clouds of glory that protect the children of Israel. Then we have Reish. Reish is for Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah, there are three books open. The book of life, the book of death, the book of intermediate. And on Purim, Hashem saved us, took us from death to life, brought us life, Besiyat Adishma. And then we have the Yud of Purim, which is Yom HaKippurim. And we did this exactly what we did on Yom HaKippurim, but for three days, because Esther Amalka asked Mordechai to tell the children of Israel to fast for three days and three nights. We'll speak in a, in a minute about this. To fast for three days and three nights, and Yom Kippurim, we fast the whole day. We are just like angels, we just dive into Hashem, we pray to Hashem, and ask from Hashem to seal us in the book of life. And then we have Matan Torah, the Mem. The Mem is parallel to Shavuot. Shavuot, to Shavuot we receive the Torah. And we know that on Purim, it's written, Kiblu, the Kiblu, which means on Purim, we did and we accepted what we already accepted by Matan Torah. So we're going to speak a few words about this. It means that we accepted the oral Torah, all of the halachot, all of the Jewish laws that our sages added from the Torah, that everything is from the written Torah, the Torah Shebaal Peh, the oral Torah. We accepted it. When we received the Torah by Ma'amad Sinai, on Mount Sinai, Hashem put the mountain above the children of Israel and he told them, if you accept my Torah, not only the written Torah, also the oral Torah, if you accept the written and the oral Torah, then you have life. But if you want, this is going to be a burial. So we accepted this. It's like we were forced to accept it because, you know, the oral Torah, 
the written Torah is written in a short way, but inside of it is hidden all of the light of the, of the oral Torah, all of the light of the mitzvot, all of the light, how do we do the mitzvah? Everything is inside. And the righteous, uh, and our righteous sages, they, because they were so close to Hashem, they had enlightenment from the light of eternity of Hashem, and they gave, gave interpretation by the written Torah to the oral Torah. And at the beginning, the children of Israel said, said Na seven Ishma, we are going to do, and then we are going, we are going to hear. And then after that, they had a problem with the oral Torah. So Hashem said, either you're accepting the written Torah and the oral Torah together, and you'll have life. But if you won't, this is going to be a burial. And on Purim, it's written, it's written by Megillat Esther. קיימו וקיבלו היהודים עליהם ועל זרעם ועל כל הנלווים עליהם ולא יעבור להיות, להיות עושים את שני הימים האלה ככתבם ובזמנם בכל שנה ושנה. No, that Purim is, is by our sages. They put, you know, we have seven mitzvot, seven commandments that our sages gave us. Among them is מקריאת מגילה, is reading the מגילה. So here we see that they did and they accept it upon themselves what they already accepted upon themselves on Ma'amad Ar Sinai. Not for, all, all, for themselves only, but for all of their descendants lo, until the end of days, until Mashiach comes and until eternity. We accepted, we did and accepted everything that we accepted on Ma'amad Ar Sinai. So the question is like this. It says, it, it says that when we accepted and we said to Hashem on, on uh, Ma'amad al-Sinai, when we received the Torah, B'Shavuot, when we received the Torah, and we said, now seven Ishma, we're going to listen, uh, we're going to do and listen. First, we're going to do, then listen to explanations. First, we're going to do everything that you commandment, Hashem. And not only you, also by your, your scholars, so when we accepted this upon ourselves, it says in Masechet Shabbat, in the Gemara, page 88, Amud Aleph, it says that angels came down and put a crown, two crowns on the children of Israel, each one of them. One for Naseh, that we are doing, and the other one, Venishma, that we're going to listen. When we sin with a golden cloth, Hashem took the crowns from us. The angels came and took all of the crowns for us. Who received the crowns? We spoke yesterday about Moshe Rabbeinu, that he, there was light in his, in his face. Hashem gave all of the crowns, Karnei Hod, the crowns of glory, which was for Naseh, for doing and listening. He, put, he gave it to Moshe Rabbeinu. So not only the ink that he put on his forehead, but all of the crowns of the children of Israel were given to Moshe Rabbeinu. And we know that when we daven, when we pray on Shabbat, we say, Yismach Moshe bebatnat chelko. That Moshe is happy with what he received. He's happy for all of the, of the crowns of glory that he received and the light that came out of him. So Moshe Rabbeinu received all of the, of the crowns of glory upon him for all of the children of Israel. Yismach is the letters of Mashiach. And every Shabbat, Shabbat is like the times when Mashiach is going to be here. So Besiyat Adishma, every Shabbat, Moshe Rabbeinu gives back the crowns of glory, Naseh Venishma, to the children of Israel who keep Shabbat. By Halacha. So just think about every Shabbat, Moshe Rabbeinu gives it back to the children of Israel. Look how, what a kind person is, what a humble person is. With all of the things that he went through with the children of Israel, still every Shabbat he gives back the crowns of glory. Moshe Rabbeinu is parallel to uh, his parallel to Moshe Rabbeinu in his generation. Slicha, Mordechai Yehudi is parallel to Moshe Rabbeinu in his generation. Every generation we have Moshe Rabbeinu among us. So at the time of Parasu Madai, Moshe Rabbeinu was parallel to Moshe Rabbeinu. And because he made the children of Israel do tshuva, he, he was the one that brought the, the, the crowns of glory back to the children of Israel because they said, they all said, it says about them, the which means 
they did and they accepted parallel to Naseh and Ishma. We're going to do and listen. So with this, Mordechai Adu bring, bring, brought back upon the children of Israel the, um, the two crowns, the crowns of Hod, the, the crowns of glory. But before, before we continue with this, I want to go to the mitzvot that we have on Purim, and one of them is Kiryat Megillah. So Besiyat Adishmaya, we read the Megillah, we go to the shul after Ta'anit Esther, we're going to have this next Wednesday, we're going to have Ta'anit Esther, it starts from the morning until after Arvit, and Besiyat Adishmaya, I'm reminding you to give Machatzit a shekel, go ask, every shul has a different amount of how much how much a machatzit a shekel is approximately it's between nine to eleven dollars, but we go and give machatzit a shekel to the rabbi of the shul wherever you want to give it bezat Hashem you give it machatzit a shekel, and when we finish fasting we come to the shul we read the megillah we have to be quiet to listen because we are not yotze if we don't hear every word of the megillah. So it's good to follow also the Megillah, to sit in front of you, but you need to hear at Bala Kore says all of the Megillah. And uh, he will say three, uh, three blessings before he reads. He will say, Al Mikra Megillah. And then he's, he will say, Shasan Nisim Lavotenu Bayamim Ayem Bazman Adeh. And also he'll say, Shecheyanu. The next day, the next morning, we also listen to the Megillah. I'm reminding you that the, ch the children of Israel that live in cities that didn't have walls at the time of Yoshua, we all celebrate on Thursday, on the 14th of the month of Adar Bet. We celebrate. So on Thursday morning, we also, after Shacharit, uh, we listen to the Megillah. Usually uh, the men do it uh, uh, Inside, when after they read the Torah, they read the Megillah, and for the women, usually they make another hour, they come with the children, and they hear the Megillah. So over there, when we say Shecheyanu, you need to concentrate on all of the things, on Shecheyanu, to add into the Shecheyanu, the Suda that we're going to, the Suda Mitzvah that we're going to have, the Mishloach Manot that we're going to give, and Bezat Hashem Atanot Laivyonim, Besiyat Adishmed, all of this. We're going to, to add into the Shechianu, in our thoughts, into the Shechianu for the second day. So we have Mikra Megillah. Everybody has to hear Mikra Megillah at night, twice at night after the fast and also uh, during the second day, the day after that. And then we have Mishloach Manot Ish Lereu. So we give, we give a mishloach manot, we take two kinds of food that is already ready, not a, a dough, but a, a challah, if we give a challah, and then two blessings should, there should be. So it could be a challah and a bottle of wine. So we have a geffen, we have mezonot, we have a motzi and a geffen, and besiyata dishmaya, you give two kinds of foods. And this you give to one person, because it's written mishloach, mishloach is, uh, is one, uh, it's a singular, in a singular phrase, phrase, and also we have manot, which means this is at least two. So you give at least two and you give to one person, a woman to a woman and a man to a man, Bezrat Hashem. And why do we give one mishloach manot with two kinds of uh, food that have different kinds of blessings? So we, we're going to go back to... Naseh Nishma that we're going to do and we're going to and we're going to listen. And Bezat Hashem, it's written in Esther Rabba, the Midrash Rabba, Esther Rabba, it's written, Perik Zayin, it's written like this. Haman Arasha Ba'alila Gdola Ba'al Yisrael. Haman Arasha came with a, he was deceiving the children of Israel. Amar Haman Lechashverosh, he said to Achashverosh, Elokehim shel elu sonezima. Their God does not like intimate relationships that are forbidden. Put, make a big f feast and put over there women that are not with its new, that are not modest, he says, and make everybody come to the feast. Shenemar la sot kirtzon ish veish. And everybody can find his place and even have what he wants to eat. He find everything that he has there. Mordechai saw that this was, was the thought of Haman that they will sin. So Mordechai 
gave a decree that they are not allowed to go. ואמר להם, לא, לא תלכו לאכול בסעודתו של אחשוורוש. He said, don't go and eat from the סעודה uh, or from the meal of אחשוורוש. ולא שמעו לדברי מרדכי, and they didn't listen to מרדכי, והלכו כולם לבית המשתן. They all went to, to the feast and were, and were doing, uh, enjoying the סעודה of... Uh, of Achashverosh, ואכלו ושתו ונשתקו ונתקלקלו. And they ate and they drank and they became drunk and when you become drunk, לא עלינו, you can do things because you are not controlling yourself. So you can do things that you wouldn't have done if you were sober. מיד אמר, and then immediately Satan went to Hashem and he was prosecuting the children of Israel. מיד אמר הקדוש ברוך הוא לשטן, הבל היא מגילה ואכתוב עליה כליה. Immediately, Hashem said to, to Satan, okay, bring me a, a, a paper and I'm going to write a, an amulet and I'm going to write what is going to happen to the children of Israel. Lo aleinu. So, what happened? We just said that Mordechai was parallel to Moshe in his generation. And how do we know this? Because it says Ish Yehudi, it says about Mordechai that he's a Jewish man. Ish Yehudi in numerical value is Moshe Rabbeinu. Ish Yehudi in Gimatria is exactly Moshe. So we have Ish in Aleph is 1, Yud is 10, Shin is 300, it's 311, Yehudi, Yud is 10, Hey is 5, Vav, uh, Hey is 5, Vav is 6, Daled is 4, Yud is 10, together it's 35. Ish Yudi, 35 plus 311 is 346. Moshe Mem is 40, Shin is 300, He is 5. 345, including the word Moshe, it's 346. So Ish Yudi, which is, which is uh, it refers to Mordechai Yudi, is Moshe Rabbeinu. So he was Moshe Rabbeinu of the generation. How do we know he was called Ish? He was called a man. Who was called a man? Moshe Rabbeinu. Ba'ish, Moshe Anav, me'od mikol adam. Hashem testifies, gives us testimony over Moshe Rabbeinu that he's humble from all human being. And it's written, Ish, Yehudi, Aya, Beshoshan Abira. And there was a man, a Jewish man in Shoshan Abira, which his name was Mordechai, Yehudi, which his name was Mordechai. So we know that Mordechai is also considered as a Ish, as a man. So this is parallel to Moshe. He was Moshe Rabbeinu of the generation. And it, we see that in the, at the end of, of uh, Parashat Beshalach, it's, called, it's written by Kiyad al Kesiyam bil Hamal Hashem ba Amalek Midor Dor, that, uh, that uh, there's a hand on the, on the throne of Hashem, and the name of Hashem, the throne of Hashem is missing, the Ot Aleph. The, and the name of Hashem is missing, Vav K, there's only Yud K, there's a war from Hashem uh, against Amalek from generation to generation, and from this we learn that it's, in this is hidden all of Purim, because Yad, a hand, Yud Dalet, Yud is 10, Dalet is 4, it's 14. The first day of Purim is the 14th of the month of Adar, and then uh, uh, we have Yud K, Yud K, Yud is let, uh, it's the name of Hashem, half of the name of Hashem, Yud is 10, K is the, the He, He is 5, it's 15, 15 is the second day, which is Shoshan Purim, the second day of Purim, we already see it's inside this verse. And then we see that Kes Ya, which means uh, the, the share of Hashem that is missing an Aleph, and the name of Hashem that is missing the Vav K, we have together numerical value is Haman, which is 95, and then we have Kes Ya Milchama Hashem. Together it's 274. You will see it in the WhatsApp. I will, I will, will post it over there. Together it's 274, which is Mordechai. So everything is hidden inside it. I know that Yud K, the first, the first half of the name of Hashem that. Mordechai was complete with the first half of the name of Hashem because Yud is 10 and we said Hey is 5, together it's 15. 15 is the word Gava, pride. Gimel is 3, Aleph is 1, Vav is 6, Hey is 5, together it's 15. 15 comes from Amalek, Zegava, pride, vanity. It comes from Amalek, but 
that I, the cure for gava, for vanity, for pride, is humbleness. And Mordechai was, was humble just like Moshe Rabbeinu. And because of the humbleness of Mordechai, that even though they didn't listen to him, and we saw in, in, in Midrash Rabbah, Esther Rabbah, that even though he told them not to go to the party of Ahasuerus, they went to the party, but after the decree, Mordechai Yehudi is davening for them and asking from Hashem to take off the decree. We go back to Esther Rabbah, and Esther Rabbah, it's written like this, Botasha, after there was a decree that Aman already sent everywhere, Botasha, Ratz Eliyahu Zachur Latov Bebe'ala, Eliyahu Navi Zachur Latov was running with, with panic, it's a lavot ha'olam, and he went to the forefathers, and to Moshe ben Amram, and also to Moshe Rabbeinu. Amar lehem, ad matai avot ha'olam redumim b'shana, how long are you going to be, to be sleeping? You don't see the, the, the problem that your children have. That all of the, of, of the servants of Hashem in heaven are crying. It's the moon and the sun and the stars and all the constellations that and heaven and earth, they are all crying to Hashem and asking for Hashem to have mercy upon the children of Israel. And you're standing and you're, you're not doing anything? They told Eliyahu Navi, Why did this happen to them, to the children of Israel? Because they enjoyed the party of Ahasuerus, from, from the meal of Ahasuerus. And because this, there was a decree that they will be killed in 127 uh, states of Ahasuerus. So Abraham Yitzchak and Yaakov told him, If they didn't listen to Hashem, and the decree was sealed like on, Rosh, on Yom Kippurim, on Rosh Hashanah, we are written in the books, but on Yom Kippurim, we are sealed in the books. So if it was sealed, what can we do? Chazar Eliyahu v'amar lo lemoshe. Eliyahu Navi went, Eliyahu the prophet went to Moshe Rabbeinu. And he told them, I roe ne'eman atai. He says, you are a, a loyal shepherd. Kama pa'amim abata la peretz li Yisrael uvital takzeratam levilti ashchit. How many times you stood against the decrees, against the children of Israel, and, and you spoke to Hashem, and Hashem forgave the children of Israel. Vesalachti kidvarecha. And he forgave the children of Israel. Amar lo Moshe, klum yesh adam kasher boto dor asher... Is there a kosher, a, a righteous man in that generation, in the generation of, of, of the Suda of Ahasuerosh? Eliyahu Navi tells him, yes, and his name is Mordechai. Amar lo, Moshe Rabbeinu tells him, lech vehodio, kedei sheyamod hu misham betfila vani mikan. He says, go and tell him, so he will daven, he will pray here in this world, and I will pray in heaven. And we will ask mercy upon them in front of Hashem. He asks him, and he asks Eliyahu Navi, tell me, did the decree, is the decree sealed with mud or it's sealed with blood? If it's sealed with mud, we can change it. If it's sealed with blood, you can't change the decree. Amar lo Moshe, im betiti chatumat filatenu nishmat, v'im bedam nechtema ma shayahu. If it's with mud, then our, a prayer is going to be heard. But if it's with blood, we can do anything. We can't do anything. Amar lo betiti chatuma. It's sealed with, with mud. Amar lo Moshe Rabbeinu, lech v'odea lemordechai. Go and tell Mordechai. Miyad alach, Eliyahu Navi immediately went to Mordechai. Miyad alach v'odea lemordechai. And this is what's written, Mordechai yada et et kol asher neesa veikra Mordechai gadav. So now Mordechai knows everything that happened in heaven and the decree that came from heaven because nothing happens in this world unless it already, there was a decree in heaven. En bria nokefet etzba lemata ululei chiruzo lemala. 
So now he knew that the decree was already given by Hashem, and because of this, he already, he, he, he tore his clothing, Mordechai, and then Eliyahu Navi came to him and told him that Moshe Rabbeinu is going to dove and to pray for the children of Israel, that Hashem will forgive them in heaven, and he wants Mordechai to do it here in, on earth, or in this world. And we know that Esther Malka told him, let them go and fast for, for three days and three nights, and, and then I will go in front, in front of the king. And he also made the children fast. And I told you that he took 22,000 children and he made them say to heal him in order that their prayers that without a sin will come under the throne of Hashem and Hashem will answer their prayers. And Besiat Adishmaya, Amalek will be eliminated. And we, we know that Haman fell by the humbleness of Mordechai and the children of Israel. They humbled themselves in front of Hashem because they knew they did something that was wrong. And they, uh, and they all fasted three days and three nights and they put a sack upon them and they prayed to Hashem and their prayer was answered. That's why it says, Haman no fell al and, ha and, ha and Haman fell uh, on the bed of Esther Malka and the initials of it, when he fell, Vahaman of fell Alamita, the initials of it is Anava, is mo modesty. Vahaman starts with a Vav and Nofel with a Nun, Al with the Ayn, Hamita with a He, it's Anava, it's, it's humbleness. They humble themselves in front of Hashem. So because of their humbleness, Haman fell. Or Amalek fell, he, he was hanged with his ten children. So we see that Mordechai and Moshe Rabbeinu, are, uh, Mordechai is like the essence of Moshe Rabbeinu in that generation, and because of his humbleness, Amalek, and the humbleness of the children of Israel, because he was the head of the children of Israel at that time, Amalek and all of his partners were hanged and killed. So let's continue. We see we have, this is Mishloach Manot Ish Lereu, and... And again, there are two two kinds of brachot that we need we need to give in the mishloach manut. And why this is parallel to the two crowns that the children of Israel received when they said when they received the Torah and they said na sevenishma. This is parallel to kimu, kimu vekiblu, which means that they are doing and they accepted what they already accepted on Muhammad Har Sinai when they accepted the Torah which means they accepted the written Torah and the oral Torah, and they said, and now by this, that's why we give each person at least two, two kinds of food with two different blessings. Why? It's parallel to the two crowns that the children of Israel, the two crowns of glory that the children of Israel had on the Muhammad al-Sinai when they received the Torah, and they got it back on Purim. The two crowns. And Moshe Rabbeinu gives Yismach Moshe bematnat chelko every Shabbat. Moshe Rabbeinu gives back the crowns to the children of Israel who keep Shabbat. So we have the crowns of glory above us, every to each person. That's why it's a mishloach manot echad. That's why it's one mishloach manot, which means each individual person with two kinds of foods that have different blessings because it's not seven ishma that we will do and we will listen kimu vekiblu the same thing they did and they accepted besiyat adishma and then we continue we have matanot levyonim kol poshet yad notnim lo everybody that opens their hands we give him so give as much tzedakah that you can that you can because when we give tzedakah we bring peace to the world why because a person who doesn't have and is in sorrow and when and he speaks to Hashem and he says Hashem please because you know that a person that is poor is, is like is considered like a, a dead person also a person that doesn't have children is considered like a dead person so you know that when we give him money and he's rejoicing that Hashem gave him a good shaliach to give him then you make peace between him and Hashem so by doing this we bring peace to the world and the fourth thing that we do is uh, we have the Souda. The Souda should be during the day of Purim. So uh, on this, in the cities that, there's, that didn't have walls at the time of Yoshua, 
when he came and conquered uh, the land of Israel. So at that, uh, the cities that don't have walls, they, we celebrate on Thursday. And like the, the ones that have walls, they celebrate on, on Friday. So our Suda is on Thursday. And we, it has to be during the day. That usually it's uh, the, uh, during the time of Mincha, between uh, after two o'clock. But yet there are some that uh, used to do it in the morning, as everybody should do it, Bezat Hashem, like the Minhag. And uh, I'm reminding you to say Allah Nisim. We need to say Allah Nisim and Allah Niflaot in Tfilat Shemona Yisrael, in our davening when we stand, and also in Birkat Amazon. Don't forget to add this. There's no Hesped and no, ta and no Taaniyot during the two days of uh, Purim, during the 14th of, the, of Adar Bet, and also the 14th of Adar, and also the 15th of Adar. Besiyat Adishmaya. And now, I would remind you that even at the end of days, Purim is still here. And you know that everybody has a, put disguise on them and they are happy and we drink wine. Please, when, when the husbands drink wine, not to get drunk until that you cannot say the name of Hashem or, or until you throw up, chas v'shalom because that's not the meaning of drinking the wine. The drinking wine is order that you will elevate your soul, that you won't, you'll be a little bit free of all of your worries, and then you elevate your soul to a higher place, and then you can also give, be an acceptor of the light of Hashem. But if you drink until you start vomiting, and, and, you, and you're not conscious of what's happening around you, that's not the purpose. And we're going to continue and see about Tanit Esther. And it says, Kach, I'm reading for you all of the of Sgulot of, uh, from Mofet Lechag. And these are Sgulot for Purim and Tanit Esther. And we'll start with Tanit Esther, which is on Wednesday, next Wednesday. And it's written, Kol mi shetzarich hachamim al ezer shu davar, if you need mercy, for every, for everybody needs mercy. Anything that you need, either zivugim, either parnasa, uh, children, uh, tshuva, anything that you need, yikach p'nai la'atzmo b'yom ta'anit ester, you should make time for yourself on ta'anit ester, read chapter 22, on ta'anit ester and purim, and also on shushan purim, please light a candle. From Mordechai Yehudi ve'adasa Esther Amalka, and you can add Moshe Rabbeinu, and put Zdaka in, in, in the Pushka, put Zdaka, and read chapter 22 in Tehillim. So it's uh, to, to read chapter 22 in Tehillim, and Esther Amalka was considered Ayelet Ashacha. And it says, sit down and speak to Hashem. Yishpoch sicho lifnei Hashem. Vivakesh bakadshato, and ask what you want, and say, that you're asking in the merit, in the schut of Mordechai Vester, and because Hashem answered their prayers in the time of Achashverosh, may Hashem answer our prayers now in their schut, because the light of Purim is above us on Tanit Esther, and the two days of Purim is above us. This light that was exactly the same light at that time, at the time of Achashverosh. So we ask in the merit, in the schut, of uh, Mordechai and Esther, may Hashem, Bezrat Hashem, answer all of our prayers, Bezrat Hashem, and by this, we close the mouth of the prosecutor, of the evil inclination. Now let's go, Bezrat Hashem. Don't forget, light a candle for them, put tzedakah, daven to Hashem, pray to Hashem, and ask in the Shrut of Mordechai and Esther, read chapter 22 on Tehillim, that this is considered that Esther Malka said this chapter, Besiyat Adishmaya, and by this, Bezrat Hashem asked in the schut of Mordechai and Esther, because the same light from heaven comes upon us. And like you answered them at that time, please answer, but ask that Hashem first answer all of the children of Israel and the whole world that He will reveal Mashiach, and then ask your own private, uh, own, own private things that you need, Bezrat Hashem. So it says that this aura, this or oh, this light of miracle that happened, that everything flipped, and all of the wicked that wanted, wanted, didn't want good things for the children of Israel, all of the decree came upon them, 
So this is the time that all of the decree can come upon all of the enemies of the children of Israel. So please daven from all of your heart and ask Mashiach now and Eliyahu Navi Zechula Tov and Beit HaMikdash and that we all have part in Eretz Yisrael and we we'll all have the school to go to the land of Israel on time Bezrat Hashem. And then, כמו שבפורים מתכפרים ההבנות על ידי תענית, like on Purim, all of, the, all of the sins of a person between him and Hashem are forgiven like, uh, because they, we fast, also on Purim, בפורים מחבר הקדוש ברוך הוא עוונותיהם של ישראל על ידי אכילה ושתייה. Also on Purim, Hashem atones for the children of Israel by eating and drinking. So, Please, all Birkot Anayanim, all the brachot that you say, say it with a kavana. Arashash says in order to say it with a kavana, you have to separate the brachot to three parts. When you say Baruch Ata Hashem, this is one part. Elokeinu Melech HaOlam is the second part. Bore Mine Mezonot is the third part. So you separate it in so order that you will say all of the words, and, and all of the words will come without missing any letter, and have a meaning behind it. By this, by the, because this is a big mitzvah to eat and to celebrate on Purim. So by this, Hashem forgives us for our sins. Which means Esther is writing the Megillah and, and uh, the harshness of the Megillah. Tokef, Taf, Kuf, Pei in Gimatria is like the Seir. It's like we're giving a seir on Yom Kippurim. You remember that there are two sacrifices. One is for Hashem. One is for, for all, to atone for all of the sins of the children of Israel. It's like we're bringing a sacrifice by eating and drinking on Purim. Be'ezrat Hashem. And by this, Hashem atones for the children of Israel. Just like He atones on Purim. Lachen be'siyat adishmaya. We consider Purim as Kippurim. As Yom Kippurim, the Rabbi Israel Meruzin says uh, that that Purim mechaper between the Shavim and between the Sheinam Shavim, which means Lama ki kol aposhet yad matnim lo that Purim atones for the, everybody that does tshuva and even the ones that didn't do tshuva until now and they want to accept upon themselves tshuva now, Purim atones for them. So Besiyata Dishma, this is a big thing to open a new page. Even if we didn't do anything, now is the time to start. It's never late. While we are still living and the soul is still in the body, it's time to do the tshuva. Hashem will accept our tshuva. So you know that even the Kohen, what we can do, what a simple person on Purim can do, he does just like the Kohen Agadol on Yom Kippurim. Even a simple person in Purim can do what the Kohen Gadol does on Yom Kippurim. By having this kavana, this intention behind the kavana, behind his words and behind his prayers to Hashem and the happiness to his show, he shows to Hashem that Hashem saved us and he knows that Hashem saved us and is saving us now, saved us in the past in Purim at the time of Bachashverosh, saves us now in our time, Hashem is going to deliver us. Bezrat Hashem with Mashiach. Now in our days, Bezrat Hashem. So, so this is an opportunity to, for us to go into the holiest of holiest on Yom Kippurim. Furthermore, Besiyat Adishmaya, we see that the Megillah, I wrote it down so I can show you, the Megillah, the Megillah in numerical value is parallel to Mazal, to Lak in Aramaic. כי מזל in Hebrew זה מן זין למד, in Aramaic וזה א' at the end. So מגילה מ' is 40, ג' is 3, and למד is 30, which is 73, plus ה' hey, which is 5, it's 78. מזלה is 78, this מזל עליון, this is a luck בסייעתא דשמיא in heaven. We open our luck in heaven, and because we open the luck in heaven, this is the luck that we have our parnasa, our lives, which means the length of our life and, and, the, and our, 
a livelihood of being healthy and also a parnasa and children so if we don't have children this is the time to daven for Hashem to pray to Hashem that Hashem will give us righteous children mamash this is the time furthermore it's it's parallel to lechem because lechem is parnasa lechem is also 78 and it's parallel to melach and it's parallel to machal to forgiveness and, and, and this is parallel to three times the name of Hashem, Yud Kei Vav Kei, because Yud Kei Vav Kei is 26 multiplied by 3, 78. So we can ask, this is a, the, the luck of, in heaven is open for us, we can ask about the children. If we don't have children, that Hashem will give us children, Bezat Hashem, righteous children. We, are, we can ask for Zivugim, because if we want children, we ask from Hashem, because first we have to get married. So ask from Hashem for Zivugim, Bezat Hashem. We know that on Shabbat also, we, 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 uh, we have a, a meaning when we say the motzi and we deep in the soul three times, three times, when a husband's deep the, uh, the bread, the challah, in the soul three times, every time they have to visualize in front of themselves, yud kei vav kei, three times 78, in salt, salt is 78, kimem is 40, lamed is 30, chet is 8, 78, and by this, this opens the mazal elyon, the mazala, it opens the luck in heaven, and, and we, mamash, are a vessel of blessings for the next six days, besiyat adishman. So, Purim is a combination for this, because we read the Megillah, and the Megillah is 78, so we open the luck in heaven, towards us, Klal Israel, and the whole world, Bezat Hashem. This is the power of Purim. Furthermore, Besiyat Adishmaya, oh, okay, Ben Ishchai says like this, Katav Rabbeinu Yosef Chaim, Lachar Mikra Megillah, after we read the Megillah at night and during the day, that it's good to say ten times the Pasuk, Umordechai Yatsa Milifne Amelech. Ten times to say this pasuk, and then three times to say the pasuk la yudi ma ita ora, And then it, the, I, I, you say the whole pasuk. I said only part of the pasuk, but you say the whole pasuk. And then uh, uh, to say uh, also three times ish yudi aya b'shoshana bira. Three times to say the whole pasuk, and then to say three times the pasuk balayla hu, and to say. Baruch Mordechai 120 times and then Esther Bat Abichail to say this 24 times. This is what the Ben Ishchai says and it opens the gates of heaven to, so Hashem will bestow upon us His light. And furthermore, Rabbi Yitzchak Isaac Mekomarna, he says, וקיבלו שבימי הפורים יכול לעלות נשמה קטנה להיכל של צדיק מופלא בלי שום מעכב. Which means, on Purim, our soul can be connected to righteous צדיקים without any delay, without any obstacles. שום מעכב. כל זה קיבלתי בלחישה, he says, everything I, I received, I, I, I was... Uh, received it in a secret but because i love the children of israel i opened it and i'm giving it this secret to everyone because if, if we are davening at that time we are praying to hashem bezat hashem with this with this we are going to open the gates of heaven for klali and for mashiach and i told you that this is a, a day that is uh, that has the ability that we will be blessed with our children to do tshuva you know uh, הרב בידרמן, רק רגע, הרב אלימלך בידרמן, שליטה, he, say, he says a story that in, in the yeshiva, in one of the yeshivot where he teaches, a rabbi came to him and he told him, you know, one of, a, of a, the students, one of the bachurim, it started go, going away from the, the Jewish way, and less studying, less studying Torah, less doing what he needed to do, stopped davening, so this rabbi, that this was one of his students, felt so bad with this, and he says, Hashem, I'm not giving up on this soul. This is Rabbi Elimelech Biderman telling this story. So he said, I'm not giving up on this soul. On, on Purim, he opened the Echal, and he prayed to Hashem, and he davened to him that Hashem will do, that help this boy do tshuva. 
And he was crying and asking from Hashem, why? Because on Purim is ben ha'afochu. Everything can flip. After Purim, they saw that this child, and I'm giving it with his words, so the Rabbi Elimelech Biderman, and he says like this. Lachar kama shavuot, after a few weeks, uh, they came to see it. Uh, the, the, after Purim, he started studying. But after a few weeks, the rabbis in the yeshiva said, this is one of the special boys, special bachurim in the yeshiva. He's bright. The rabbi of this boy says, the rabbi of this Bachu says, I, I can't explain this. And Kulam no Yodim Magaram Pitom He says, everybody was astonished from the change that happened in him. But I know and I'm sure the rabbi that davened for him, that prayed for him on Yom on Purim at the Echal, look, look how a rabbi really loves his Bachurim his community, that it's so important for him that everybody will do tshuva, not only himself and the ones that are close, but all of his community will do tshuva. That was Mordechai Yehudi. That was Moshe Rabbeinu, that he cared about all Klal Yisrael because he knows that we're all one soul. So he says, but I know, and I'm sure that in the merit of the prayer from the Um Kadeliba, from the bottom of my heart, Beyom Apurim, on the day of Purim that I prayed for that Bachur because of this, he did Shuvah. Why? Because everything that we ask from Hashem on Purim, the gates of heaven are open because Mordechai, a Yehudi, Vester Amalka, and Moshe Rabbeinu, the Daven from heaven, all of them opened the gates and the children of Israel that humbled themselves in front of Hashem by fasting and, uh, and doing really tshuva but from their hearts. From the bottom of their hearts, by this, the, the gates were open then and they, are, and they are open every year on Purim. And every year. And Hashem, which means that all of the, our prayers go to the crown of Hashem. The crown in the ten counts of the Kabbalah. So not, nothing delays it. And there's also a minhag to eat seeds on Purim. Usually it's rice to eat because Esther Malka ate rice and also Daniel that was at, at that time Daniel and, and ate, uh, ate uh, zeronim seeds so it's also a custom to eat uh, uh, seeds and Besiat Adishmaya try to uh, to be to wake up early so you'll have time to pray to Hashem that Hashem will accept all of your all of your prayers remember it's very important to give to give tzedaka, to give matanot levionim, and it says that Mordechai Yehudi tiken lekayem mitzvat matanot levionim, that he that he decreed that we need to give tzedaka to poor people on Purim every year leilui nishmat Moshe Rabbeinu, in the merit of of Moshe Rabbeinu. So when you give the tzedaka, say it's in the merit of Moshe Rabbeinu besiyat adishma. Mordechai Yehudi tiken lekayem et mitzvat matanot levionim bechol shana lilu nishmat Moshe Rabbeinu. Ve'lachen besiyat. Why? Because Moshe Rabbeinu was the one that, that davened to Hashem in heaven for the children of Israel, and Mordechai davened, which he was parallel to Moshe Rabbeinu in his generation, the generation of Achashverosh. So because of that, Mordechai Yehudi tiken he decreed that we should give the tzedaka in the merit of Moshe, of Moshe Rabbeinu. Uh, furthermore, Rabbeinu uh, Aben Ishchai says, Seudat Purim Mishteayayin, the Seuda of Purim, the meal of Purim and drinking the wine, he says that there should be at least 15 uh, kinds of food on the table, including uh, meat, chicken, uh, fish, just like Yud K of Hashem, because, because Mordechai Yudi was the youth care of the name of Hashem was light, brought light into him and he brought light to the name of Hashem with youth care because youth care is, is, uh, is parallel to Gava, to pride. So the ones who, who go by the way of Hashem and they have humbleness and they humble themselves in front of Hashem, they cause uh, light to come to the, to the name of Hashem, youth care. 
So because of this, he says that at least should be 15 kinds of, of uh, different kinds of food, including cakes and everything that you have on the table. And the siyata dishmaya, don't forget about the wine to drink it. You can uh, the, uh, drink it not until you come to a, a, a stage that you don't, you can't even say the name of Hashem with respect. Uh, oh, and when we when we eat the suda of Purim, and when we drink the wine with a happy heart, and we are grateful to Hashem for everything that He did to us, it's like we are fasting besiata dishmaya mi Shabbat le Shabbat, from Shabbat to Shabbat by eating and drinking, because this is the mitzvah. By eating and drinking, it's like we are fasting from one from one Shabbat to another Shabbat. It's a tanit efsek, from one Shabbat to another Shabbat. So it's a big thing, banot yekarot. I would like also to bless all of us that we will that Hashem will accept all of our prayers, and may Hashem besiata dishmaya not only accept all of our prayers but reveal Mashiach tzidkenu now and will bring peace to the world. Bezat Hashem, peace upon us, peace upon the whole world, and may we all follow the ways of Hashem. This is our opportunity again on Purim to accept Tshuva upon us, the mitzvah of Tshuva, the commandment of Tshuva, even if we didn't do before, to put filin, to be tzniut for women, Bezat Hashem, to put tzitzit, to, to go to, and to likvay timna Torah, to study Torah in the morning and at night, Bezat Hashem, for men, Bezat Hashem, to go and and daven in a minyan, the men should daven in a minyan, so they will have Kedusha Bezat Hashem. So, dear ladies, I would like all of us and us as women to accept upon us the mitzvah of tzniut, covering our hair, dressing up in tzniut, in modesty Bezat Hashem, speaking in tzniut, being happy and, and, and asking for Hashem Bezat Hashem to help salvate, to bring salvation upon us and Klal Yisrael and the whole world Bezat Hashem. With this, I would like to bless all of us that we will all have the suit to greet to greet Mashiach Tzidkenu Bachamim Mu'im Bimra Bi'amein O Amen Eliyahu Navi Zachur Latov Lo'olam Yitered Adam Yichaburo Bidbar Alacha Yechid Verabim Alacha Kerabim Talinu Betov Itakitzu Bishua Verachamim.